Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Kizzy and today I have quite an exciting video as I'm going to be announcing my first ever readathon or read along as it's only going to be one book, but it is a hefty one as it is this bad boy, The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. So this is 804 pages long, which you know is quite long. It is a standalone, so I suppose that's all you're getting from this story. In that respect, it's not that long since most fantasies are like trilogies, but it is 804 pages long and I have been wanting to read this since it came out. I've had this since it came out and I even went to see Samantha Shannon at her book signing and it was a really good book signing. I thought what she said was really good and it really made the book interesting for the life of me. I can't remember any of what she said now but I remember coming out of that book signing really wanting to read this and being really encouraged to pick this up. However, I never got to it because I was at uni at the time or in the middle of my term and committing myself to an 800 page tomb of a book was not going to happen and I just never picked it up yet. So to encourage myself to read it, I am going to do a read along that as many people can join in who wants to. I am fully expecting it just to be myself and my boyfriend who has sadly been drawn into doing it with me. Yay! But anyone who does want to join in, please do. I would love people to come and join in and just discuss this book as we go along. I think it will be quite interesting to discuss because it is branded as a feminist fantasy. So I'm interested to see how that is kind of dealt with within the book. And I just generally would like to listen to other people's opinions. So even if you have already read it, feel free to still watch the video and the read along because your opinion still would be really interesting to have and just because you're not reading it as it goes, feel free to watch. So my plan is to be doing four videos throughout the month. It is a month long readathon, I don't know if I said that, but it will be starting on the 1st of March and finishing on the 28th of March. So that's 28 days. It's 804 pages, that roughly works out to 201 pages per week, and that is less than 30 pages per day. So when it's broken down to that, 30 pages doesn't seem a lot. So I'm sure we can get this done together. The way I'm structuring it is that each week will start on the Sunday and finish on the Saturday. So I've done that because people who go to work might like to read on that first Sunday quite a big chunk just to get a lot of the reading done and then on the Saturday any reading that you haven't managed to catch up for that week you can then power through and get it done on the Saturday. I try to structure it just so that it's nice for people that do have work during the week and won't be able to get as much reading done during that time. So on those Saturdays that we will finish, so on the 7th, 14th, 21st and 28th, I will be uploading a vlog for that week for the pages that I've set, which I will go through in a minute. The vlogs will be spoiler filled. They will not be spoiler free just because as it is a read along, I I'm expecting that people will have read those pages by that point or if not will wait and then watch it after just because it would be nice to kind of talk about my thoughts without having to filter it because that can be quite difficult if you're trying to make it non-spoiler but still have an in-depth discussion about it which is what I hope these vlogs will be. Hopefully you will be reading it along with us so yes hopefully those videos will still be interesting and if you don't mind spoilers you will still want to read it even if you've not read the book or don't plan on reading the book. So the week by week structure that I have, it does work out to, as I said, 201 pages per week. But as I'm someone that doesn't like to stop reading within a chapter, I like to finish that chapter just so I have a fresh start for when I next pick up the book. I have devised it into the nearest chapter for that week. So the first week commencing the 1st of March to the 7th of March will be starting on page 3, which is the first chapter, and finishing on page 205, which is the end of chapter 17. The second week will be reading pages 206 to 404, and that is chapters 18 to 37, and that will be the end of 37. On the third week we'll be reading pages 407 to 610, and that is chapters 38 to 56. And then for the final week we'll be reading pages 611 to 804, and that is chapters 57 to 76, and that will be the end of the book. So it doesn't seem a lot, 200 pages a week. We can do that. We can do that. I do have essays and uni and life, but so do we all. So we will power through together. 30 pages, that's like an hour max you have to take out your day to read, which, you know, we can all do. I do plan on reading other things around this. Obviously I don't want to spend an entire month just reading one book, but the fact that it's been split over such a long period of time, I feel like I won't get as pressured or bored to read it 
just in one chunk so that I can read other books whilst I read this as well. That's the plan anyway. If you get really into the book and you don't want to stick to the kind of pages that I have told you, obviously that's totally fine. I will just still do my weekly vlogs. So that's the plan. I hope you will join me on our readathon for Pride of the Orange Tree and we will get through this book together. And if you've already read it, let me know what you thought in the comments below. I would be really interested to see what people thought before going into it and see if my opinion kind of correlates or goes against it because that always makes for interesting conversation. So yes, thank you very much for watching and I hope you will join. Let me know if you are going to join in the comments. Also on my Twitter page, I will be keeping updates on that. So make sure you're following me on there to get kind of notifications about it. But apart from that, I don't think I have anything else to let you know about. So I shall let you get on with your day and I hope you have a good one. Bye.